service manette by mother fat dip in the vein about a technical meter from here. It is the safest way to send the money. Just within three minutes, that person receives the money through the phone. Nothing else. He doesn't need a bank account. You just go there with your ID and the PIN number and receive the money. Currently, mobile money is only being used for transfers. Simply tracking quick and high volumes of money flows between two locations could give you an indication that you know something's happening. What we're trying to do is, is essentially use the mobile channel um, to help people help themselves, to empower them with the technology. Well, as a field officer, I work closely with the CKWs, who are the community knowledge workers, who are, are chosen from uh, within the communities and they are selected, nominated by the community members to serve them as CKWs. So their role is to uh, provide the farmers with uh, information services, information on agriculture, and these are uh, prices, market prices, the weather forecast, and um, other things to do with uh, crop diseases and animal diseases. And yet we are saying if we have real-time data, if we have information that can inform the government, of these impending disasters, the government would have known earlier now that there is going to be floods. Now let's prepare because we cannot stop it. We can know there is going to be drought and there is nothing we can do about it. We cannot stop it, but we can prepare. And all this readiness was because we had data. We had information for, from communities, how vulnerable they are, what capacity do they have, what don't they have and we equipped them to minimize the, 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 the effects. So these data are extremely important. It's important for us to, and for the government, to, to be better able to prepare for a more adequate, timely and appropriate response. If we are not having this, this data in place, we wouldn't know where and on what level and how to prepare ourselves. That means that if a situation occurs, we might be late with a response and the response might also not be uh, very well coordinated and it might not be adequate because we're not able to identify uh, the areas where we need to, uh, to respond to. So in that sense this, uh, this information is crucial for, for any kind of uh, humanitarian response. Mm -hmm.